Hello everyone, my name is Austin from awfulmedia.com and today we're going to uh, continue on with our WordPress theme. And yesterday we didn't really get anything done. All we did was set up the WordPress uh, server, the server, our local server on our machine, and installed WordPress. That's all we got done, but that was a very, very important step on getting to the WordPress theme. So that had to be done, and I wanted to make sure everybody was on the same level when we got this far. And I say everybody, I mean like the 50 people who have watched it. And that's a ton of people when you think about it as just people. So I'm really thankful for that. And that's pretty awesome. But I want to ask everyone who actually watches the videos, if you enjoy them, please subscribe. I don't want to beg you, but it just it, it means so much. It helps a lot. And it is very, very motivational when I, uh, when I log into YouTube and I see uh, another subscriber. It's just like, okay, well, there's somebody else who actually wants to watch me do what I do. And if you don't like what I'm doing, it, it would help so much to let me know what you don't like about it. Am I talking too much? Am I being too descriptive? Am I, am I not just kind of uh, talking enough? Should I let you know? Uh, things I'm not letting you know. I don't really know. <laughs> like I don't know how to change what I'm doing, unless you tell me. What? 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 Let me know if if you don't like something. Don't just bleh, and leave and never come back because that sucks. It it's no good for either of us because I want you here and you want to be here. You want to be here. Okay, so um, we're going to continue on. I've already begged you to subscribe. <laughs> so subscribe. What we're going to do today is set up the basic file system that WordPress requires for our theme to work. All it includes is a CSS file, a style sheet file that uh, contains the correct comments at the top of the style sheet. And it uh, requires a template file, which in our case at the beginning will be an index page and the index page will bring in a header.php file a footer.php file and a sidebar.php. Uh, I'm just going to stop talking and jump right into it. If we locate the www folder we were uh, inside 20, 30 times yesterday. Mine is in my C drive in the WAMP folder. Here it is right there and this is our WordPress installation. This is what you get when you go to the local Host. Um, did I actually start my server? Yes, I did. Okay. Make sure your server is up. You can uh, start all services and make sure it's up. We did all this yesterday. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, watch the video from yesterday or the day before. We install the, the thingy and talk about the thingy and uh, show you how to use the thingy down here. So, uh, yeah, watch that. I'll put a link on the screen somewhere through here. Maybe not. I don't know. You can find it. And now what we're going to do is go to the dashboard of WordPress. And to get there, I'm going to slash WordPress dash admin. That will take us to, in this case, WordPress login.php. We have to log in to access this page. I click log in. And it redirects me to the WordPress admin folder, which will take me directly to the WordPress admin dashboard. And from here, if we go to appearance and themes, this is where it lists the current themes available for your WordPress installation. Uh, we have by default the 2011 theme and the 2010 theme. Those are both default WordPress themes. And it says the current theme is 2011 by the WordPress team and the version. And I'm going to go over how to set it up where yours will show uh, the title, the author, the version, and the screenshot. That is really the uh, first step to take when you're creating a WordPress theme is to get all this set up so WordPress recognizes it as an actual theme. So let's go to the files and folders behind what we're looking at. And if we go to the WordPress content folder, we have a folder in here that's called themes. We'll go to that. And this is where our installed themes are uh, placed. 
and this is where we're going to create the folder that will contain our themes files. So I'm creating a new folder, new folder, and I'm going to call this one Game Square because that's the name of the theme I am going to be creating. Now, if we look inside one of these folders, it kind of uh, is scary in a way. So don't be like, there's no way I can do that because there's going to be a way if you continue to watch my videos. We're going to, let's look at the 2010 theme. And there's just a ton of files and a few, a couple folders. If we look at one of these, um, it's going to be really intimidating. It's going to be kind of like, well, not this one, because I forgot they uh, uh, put their loop somewhere else. But at the top here, we have a big comment I can get rid of. We simply have an opening PHP tag and then a function that grabs the header.php file and then a closing tag. Then we have a div with a container and that's just simple HTML. I'm not going to explain that. And then again, we have another PHP bracket here and it has a function called get template part and it is grabbing the loop for the index there. And what that's doing is actually going outside here and grabbing the loop.php file and bringing that in so it can uh, run through that loop and I'll explain the loop later on. But the loop is kind of like the key thing behind the way WordPress functions. So you can trust me when I say we will get uh, enough of that. And then below that we have git sidebar, which is the exact same thing as that, and git footer, grabbing the sidebar.php and the footer.php. And that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's get started. We have the folder. Inside this folder we have to make a style sheet. I'm going to go new and uh, make a text document. Hit control A and I'm going to say style.css. Yes, I would like to change it. I'm going to right click that and click edit with notepad plus plus. I'm going to close out of that one. Now at the top of this style sheet, we're going to have to create a comment. And a comment in CSS can be done just like that. Now anything inside of these tags here will not be rendered with, by the browser. So we can put whatever we want to in here. But what we have to put in here is the WordPress uh, required properties. And the first thing is called the theme name. And uh, what is the theme name? My theme name is going to be Game Square. Then we have to put the author. The author of mine is me. And then we have to um, not have that. Put a like an address you can uh, get information about the author. And uh, let's make that an awfulmedia.com. And below that we have to have a description. And mine's going to be a flash game website, so I'm going to put like a flash game theme for flash, wow, flash gamers. A very, very descriptive description indeed. And below that we're going to have a version with a capital E, with a lowercase e. And mine's version 1.0. Yours is probably version 1.0 as well. And that sets that up for us. Now, if we hit Control S to save that, and we have that there now, if we were to come in here and refresh this, you're gonna get something different below here. It's gonna say broken themes. The following themes are installed but incomplete. Uh, so it says these themes must have a style sheet and a template, but it recognizes it, as, recognizes it as a game square. So now we have to create the template file it's talking about. So now I'll create a new text document. Now keep in mind when you're making these uh, for like a client or something, you're never really making them from scratch as much as I am. Like you don't really create a blank text document and write the stuff in. Uh, you typically have like a template file you build off of, but in this case, not the case. This is going to be index.php. Yes. We're going to edit this with notepad. Now inside of this, if we go ahead and control S to save that, and refresh here. You can see it actually uh, makes it not broken, which is good. We have the game square title, and it says by Austin Gregor, click on that, it'll take you to offermedia.com. Yeah. And then we can activate the theme, but that will do nothing because we don't have anything at all. So now we're going to set up this theme file. We're going to create a uh, little empty PHP brackets. Inside this, we're going to say get header. 
And why are we saying get header? Because if we remember in the 20, or not 2010, but you know, 2011, whatever it may be, they're grabbing the header right there. And what that does is brings in the header.php file. And this is all really, really kind of uh, crazy, confusing looking. I understand that. And ours is going to look nothing like this pretty much when we get that far. Um, because they have some really crazy stuff going on. But that's what it's bringing in. So just an idea of what, what's going on there. And then below that we would have uh, the WordPress loop. Which would go through and grab all of the WordPress posts. Uh, according to whatever we've defined within the loop parameters. So we will explain that once we get further down the line. But for now we're going to open up another PHP tag. And we're going to say git sidebar. And that will do the exact same thing. That will grab the sidebar.php. And what we'll do is we'll do the same thing again. I was trying to make it quicker by copying and pasting, but I failed. And we're going to say git footer. So now we have, we're grabbing the header, we're grabbing the sidebar, and we're grabbing the footer. And in between that, we would have the WordPress loop. And we could actually go outside of this and grab the WordPress loop uh, doing the same thing and be like uh, git template, template, part and then say uh, a phone is ringing again what is the deal it is three in the morning goodness okay and we'll say inside this like whatever it's called it might be like index loop so we'll go outside and grab the index loop and bring it in we'll keep our loop inside the index loop.php just to keep our index uh, clean. But keep in mind that will be one more HTTP request that we have to deal with. Making the website technically load slower, but you know, it's clean. But no, we probably won't do that. Just to show you what you could do though. Now let's create the files we're actually linking to. Linking to. And this one will be header. PHP. Yes, and we're going to control C, control V, control V. Footer and sidebar. Now we have the very, very basic setup for our WordPress theme. We have the index, then we, we're bringing in the header, the footer, and the sidebar. Now if we were to go in and fill in a header, a footer, and a sidebar, we would have a complete WordPress theme uh, for the front page. Then we have to go through and we have to make the post pages, which will use a single.php, and that just uh, lists the post that we clicked on. It's really hard to explain if you don't understand PHP. When I click, let's just say, when I click on a link, uh, then it's going to remember that link, and when it takes me to the post page, it's going to grab all the information from the database uh, that's uh, related to that link, bring it in, and fill in the gaps. I've placed in for it. So like I'll have like a PHP, uh, I have a function that says grab the title of the post and it now knows what post it's looking for. It'll go in the database and go to the field that's for the title, grab that title and place it right inside of that page for the viewer to see. That'll make a lot more sense in the future whenever we're doing that. And I hope it's not the very distant future because I plan on doing this and getting it done because there's so much to do but i really want to do it because it's really really um really beneficial to actually learn uh, wordpress because wordpress is the standard in cms now i mean you have some very powerful things like uh, drupal and joomla and um you know that those are good i've just never uh, enjoyed working with them as much as i have wordpress and I've not really put much time into them, so I can't compare because I've put quite a bit of time in WordPress now. I don't know, it's just something about WordPress. It's simple. It may not seem simple at first, but it is really, really simple once you understand what you're doing. So I know I ramble a lot, and I would like to take the last minute or so and ask for opinions. Should I just uh, cut to the chase in my videos and just, you know, just get over with the, uh, the, educational parts of it or should I do these rambling bits here and there because I like to ramble I uh, I love to ramble I ramble a lot I'm sure you're aware of that if you've watched any of my videos everyone that's 
bothered to like or dislike so far has seemed, it seems that they've liked it because I've not gotten a dislike. So I don't think like it's completely terrible that I stop and ramble here and there. Um, I may do like, like a rambling part in the video and then have like an annotation for everybody who wants to skip it to uh, click it and skip ahead and get directly to the educational part. But that is, that is that kind of like counterproductive? Should I just not do it at all if I'm going to add an option to skip it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't have anybody to consult. I just do it, and if it works, I consider getting, uh, at the moment, if I get over 100 or so views on a video, I consider that a successful video because I if I only have it to compare to my, my other videos. And I have a video that has 1,600 views. And this from two months ago. That's really, really impressive. I'm really happy with that video. But it's about a very, very popular topic. And I would think this series would be popular among the people who watched that video. But maybe that's not the case. Maybe there's too much going on in these videos. Um, either way, I'm going to do it. But what do you think I should do? Should I just cut to the chase, uh, get over with the educational bits, and then stop recording? Or should I do these uh, talky-talkies? So let me know. I will really, really like some input on the stuff I'm doing because I don't really have much input. Uh, I have people like, oh, I like what you're doing with the, with the YouTube series. Good job. But there's nobody saying, like, you shouldn't do this. And I want somebody to say you shouldn't do this. Because that will make me realize, okay, he's right. Maybe I should not do that. Because at the moment, I watch it, and I'm like, oh, that's good, I like that. Okay, go, upload. So let me know. Uh, the five-minute video just turned into a 20-minute video, and I'm sorry. But we will continue tomorrow. I'm going to record the next part right now. So it should be up. Maybe, wait. See, the time is just, uh It will probably be up um, tomorrow, too. Or today, too. Or... Gosh, I don't know. My day's just been so long today. I will see you next time, which is hopefully tomorrow or later today. See ya.